All right now, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another Highways and Byways lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body on living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling and election assured, seeking out your own salvation. To you sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands, shalom, shalom, all right? In today's lesson, I'm going to call it, uh, and this is part one of a uh, part two, a two-part lesson, okay? But uh, two different topics, but they're kind of similar, but I wanted to break it into two two lessons just because uh, I'm going to be covering a lot in this and then also in the, in the next one. And I got a couple of lengthy videos with it, so I want to make sure that I could get these videos uh, uploaded with, with no problem. The longer they are, the harder they are to upload, all right? But I'm going to call this lesson, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking, all right? Them servants are your Edomites, okay? That's Esau, Edom, all right? And then uh, your princes, those are your Israelites, all right? That's the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Jacob, his name was later changed to Israel, all right? Which those are your 12 tribes of Israel today. Okay, but I'm going to go back to the humble beginnings and we're going to start with uh, the book of Genesis. I'm going to read a little bit in there. Uh, let's see. The book of Genesis and I'm going to go to the uh, 27th chapter. And I'm going to read verses 36 through 41. All right. So just give me a second as I can get this pulled up real quick. All right, here we go. All right, Genesis 27, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 36. And it says, and he said, uh, is not he, he rightly named uh, Jacob? Okay, for he has supplanted me these two times. And see, that's a lie. Because when he came out of the uh, wilderness, talking about Esau, he was being dramatic, acting like, oh, I'm going to faint and all this. And it was already prophesied that the blessing was going to go to Jacob. So this was uh, already known. But see, he fought his way to come out first. All right. And that's why they said that. But they said they knew the elder would serve the uh, younger. You know, this was already prophesied. But he fought thinking that he's going to get that blessing by being coming out first. All right. And he ended up selling his birthright to Jacob, you know, when um, he came back, you know, for that, uh, stew that wasn't even all the way cooked you know which that's another topic that's how he got the name Edom because you know eating that at, at red meat <laughs> which they still do to this day all right that's a spiritual thing all right but he said he for he had supplanted me these two times he took away my birthright and behold now he taken away my blessing see he's a liar all right and he said, how's that uh, not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, behold, I have made him thy Lord and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. All right. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, has that but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, started crying, man. And Isaac his father answered and said uh, unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the uh, dew of heaven from above. So, hey, Edomites are everywhere. Even in places where you think they wouldn't even be. You know what I'm saying? Because they mostly, they like cold regions. But these devils are everywhere. They even in Africa, South Africa. You know, you got Edomites talking about they African. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy. But, uh. Yeah, and he said, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live. So they'll be living by that sword, okay? And it's not just the sword. Modern day, uh, it'll be the gun, okay? All right? Uh, shall thou live and, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion thou sh that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right? And Esau hated Jacob. So see, Esau hated Jacob. Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay, so he's going to go kill his brother Jacob. Now, 
uh, Esau hates Jacob, all right? And that's plain. But also remember, Esau is Cain back through the regeneration. It's that same spirit, all right? You know, Cain killed his brother Abel, which is Genesis 4 and 8, okay? And this devil has been hunting us ever since, uh, you know what I'm saying? The blessing was given unto Jacob. The Slave Patrol is where modern-day police got its start. Early in the 1700s, the Carolinas saw the creation of the first official slave patrol, whose only purpose was to impose a system of fear, put an end to slave uprisings, and be able to track down and return escaped slaves to their owners. The use of severe force as a tactic to maintain control and achieve acceptable slave behavior. The American South used slave labor almost exclusively, and white Southerners lived in constant worry that slave uprisings would upset the current order of things. These slave patrols thus represented one of the oldest and most widespread examples of early police in the South. Slave patrols' primary duty was to regulate the movements and conduct of people who were captives of slavery. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. And I just brought this out recently on a previous lesson, man. Just show you that's through the Spirit, you know. All right. These devils was, was signed up to be slave catchers or patrol to keep uh, us in check, us Israelites. OK, you know, what I'm saying you have a runaway slave. Hey, they're going out on these horses, man. And uh, a lot of times how they be uh, they get the rope and they be swinging it like this to catch uh, bulls and all that. They use that, man. Uh, they were doing that uh, with uh, with us, you know, grabbing us by our necks and dragging us. OK, that's the type of stuff that this devil did, man. OK. But this is how you got your police today. You know, it started with them slave patrol, slave catchers. Now they're the policemen today. Same badges, you know, as you see the photo below, you know, that it's the same, same thing, man. No new, no new thing under the sun, all right? That's why I brought out Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, just to show you, okay? Same badges and everything, you know? But our life's, man, you know, dealing with these devils, our life has, has always been hanging in doubt, even till to this day. You, you you know a police car get behind you you spook you ain't even done nothing wrong but you be nervous and then a cop come up to you and you in your car you shaking and he like what's wrong with you why are you nervous and i'm like what do you think you know when you when you when these devils get behind you they always think that you got drugs on you they always thinking that you up to something uh you know all that you know it's hard to play be calm around them but see if you got your how about shimmy i was shy you should be straight you know even if they come around you be calm. And, and I don't get nervous when I'm around them. Even when I was in the world, I wasn't like that. And I just believe, you know, the spirit was dwelling in me, man. You know, so I was never really, like, nervous or nothing like that. But, hey, these devils will try to be intimidating when they come around. They know what they're doing, but they try to play dumb. And they'll use that to try to lure you and make it seem as if you might got drugs or something on you. That's just the mindset of these devils, all right? But, uh, yeah, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 66. And it says, and thy life shall hang in doubt, okay, before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and thou shalt, uh, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. And that was the way uh, it was with us, man. You don't know what happened. You know, they could uh, blame something on you, man, and you end up getting lynched. Uh, look at what happened to Emmett Till, man. You know, uh, a, a white woman, man, uh, she, she buried false witness on him, said that he whistled at her. And that, and that boy was beaten to a pulp. He was beaten so bad that he was unrecognizable, man. But his mama left an open casket. She wanted the world to see what, what them devils did to her baby, man. You know? But this scripture tells you, man, this is what we're dealing with. This is the type of devil. All right? And uh, matter of fact, I got another, uh, another uh, precept, man, in Deuteronomy. You know, Deuteronomy goes into the blessings and curses. You know, if you if you didn't if you kept them, it, uh, Yahweh went into all the blessings that we would have, and then He said, if you didn't keep keep that agreement, you know that that we made, you know, all these curses would come upon us, and that until this day, all those uh, curses are upon us, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28, and I'm gonna start at verse 49. It says, "The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar." 
from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. Uh, see, hey, that eagle, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the uh, young. All right, and this is their mindset. This is why they do stuff to your kids. They poison your kids. They teaching your kids all kinds of stuff because they have no favor. That they have no pity upon your your children. They want to corrupt uh, your Israelite children. Uh, the old people, they don't care. You see uh, cases of how they treat us in your nursing homes and everything. You know, uh, this is the this is the type of devil that we're dealing with. All right, this is this is that their mindset. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some uh, articles here real quick. And like I said, this ain't gonna be long. Uh, you know, uh, I had some things I want to cover in it, but uh, I had to break it into two parts because I wanted to make sure I get everything out. So just bear with me. All right, all right. Now there's this here, and it's an article. Uh, this was back in 2019, so it's been it's been a few years. All right. But it says Texas police apologize for horseback officers leading black men by rope. All right. And see, it's a and, and they can say, what's the big deal? They might even go as far as saying they might have done it to Edomites. OK. And, but the reason why we feel some kind of way is because they've done this since the beginning of time when they were them slave catchers. That's why I brought out the video. You know, they were on them horses and stuff like that. And this is a spiritual thing. This is also, you know, the scriptures go into them. You know, I've seen servants upon horses. And, and, and uh princes uh walking all right which let me bring that out here real quick because that's the name of the uh topic uh that's the name of this uh lesson one second okay this is Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7. And it says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Okay? So, yeah, that's spiritual, that picture alone. And like I said, it's an old article. I know brothers have brought lessons out on it, but something just recently popped up. And I was like, man, I had to go back. You always go back to the humble, humble beginnings and show it. It's very spiritual, man, the stuff that's happening. You know, even like I showed you earlier with the picture, the 12 tribes, man, and Esau, how the statue of that president and he's walking man and he has uh he's got a uh, uh southern kingdom uh on one end and the northern kingdom on the other you know uh a uh, uh, native american you know tribe of gad all right and then he has uh the negro you know over there you know the northern and southern kingdom and everything and he's walking and all that that's spiritual man that's uh, exactly what you reading here in ecclesiastes 10 and 7 and they're trying to tear all them statues down now but yeah these, these devils, man, and they try to apologize for it like that's going to make it any better. You know, them devils, uh, they, they, they don't look at you as, as a human being, man. They don't look at you as that. And they still believe that till this day. They might not tell you to your face. And when you speak out against everything, they tell you, can we all just get along? That's the, their mindset. But don't let them fool you, man, with their uh, smooth words, all right? The Bible tells you this man's words are smooth as butter, all right? But war is in his heart. This man still it ain't over the fact that you got the blessing. You know, the ones of them Edomites that are in the know, and even if they ain't in the know, spiritually, their spirit, you know, because this thing is a spiritual thing. The spirit that dwell in them knows. So they could they, they might not even really realize why they're treating you that way. But that's their spirit in them knows, you know. They the spirit in them knows who you are. You know, you are Yasharala, you know, you are the nation of Israel, you are the 12 tribes, you know. The kingdom that's coming, the kingdom of heaven, you know, with the 12 gates, they have your names written on it. It don't have their names. It don't say Esau on there. It don't say Edom. It don't have the names of the other nations. It has the names of, of you and your people, your tribes, you know, the 12 tribes, man. So this is why they hate you, man. This is why they do things like this. This is why they have you on horses you know, or have you walking while they're on horses. All right, moving on. And this is the brother uh, Shapa uh, of the 12. You know, he had posted this on um, YouTube. Hey, and it says Esau is proud. Yes, he's the most proud. Okay. This is why we tell you to come up out of those uh, ho so-called holidays that they have. Because these devils, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? They make mockery of us. 
the, all their so, their so-called holidays, whether you want to believe it or not, they all are some way, shape, or form. They go back into celebrating the downfall of our people, especially like when they go into Gad. They they have um, you know Thanksgiving. That's a whole mockery of them uh, celebrating the downfall of Gad. All right, but they doing it here with this Fourth uh, of July. Okay. And, it's, and it says from 4th of July Parade, this was in Muscatine, Iowa, all right? And my mom lives out there in Iowa. She lives in Des Moines, all right? And I'm always warning her about all this stuff, man, you know, letting her know, man. These, these are the type of devils we're dealing with, okay? So I got a couple of, uh, I got a couple of precepts I'm going to bring out. So just give me a second. You know, they and, and they're making mockery. That picture right there, man, that's that's a uh, Edomite woman, you know, up there on a horse, and then the one dressed up like she's a Gadite, you know, you could you could tell she's an Edomite too, man. I'm just gonna go on and say that's an Edomite. You know, I feel it through my spirit, you know, that's an Edomite. And they just out there making mockery, you know, like she over carrying Gad like that. That's messed up. But this is Genesis forty nine and nineteen. You know, this was prophesied that that, that was gonna happen. You know, this is what uh, Jacob told uh, to Gad. He said, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. So always remember that, tribe of Gad. You know, I believe maybe through the spirit, I'm over the tribe of Gad. I don't claim the tribe because I don't know. I know I'll find out my tribe when, when that time comes. But, uh, you know, I don't believe I'm of Judah. You know, I know people, they see brown, dark brown skin or brown skin and they assume uh, you know, there were Gadites, my complexion. It's not a color thing, but at the same time, a lot of people, it's like they get touchy when you bring that out. But, you know, Gad, there were a lot of Gadites that looked like me, you know, and, and uh, of my family, you know. So it's not about a color thing. And just because Esau raped, robbed and everything, he didn't come over here and rape every single woman. And not every Gadite uh, color change. So we want you need to remember that, you know, those that are in this truth, you know. They say it's not a color thing. It's not a color thing, but at the same time, it is. You need to bring it out, the information, and you need to, if you're going to say that we come out, come as all the other nations, you need to let it also know that there could be some Gadites that, that still have our dark flesh uh, Gadites, all right? You know, not everybody's color change. What this devil did was he reclassified a lot of them that look like what they, if to them, they'll say that you look like a Negro, they reclassified you as that. They, they, that's what this devil did. He did a reset on us, man. What he's trying to do a reset now with his whole kingdom because it's falling apart. All right. Moving on. I'm going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 73, and I'm going to read verses 8 through 9 because these devils are something. All right. And it says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. See, and that's a perfect example, that picture. They speak lawfully, all right? It says, they set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue uh, walketh through the earth, all right? This is what this devil does, man. This is this devil's mindset, man. It says, you can't reason with a devil like this, man. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the book of uh, Daniel, all right? And... Uh, the book of Daniel, chapter 7, and I'm going to read verse 25, all right? And it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. Because even when he does stuff to us, he's speaking out against the Most High. You know, because we're the apple of the Most High's eye, man, all right? And it says, uh, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And that's what he's doing, all right? He's wearing us out. And think to change times and laws, which this devil has done that, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time all right and that's and that's another prophecy you know we've been given into the hands of this devil all right so uh moving on uh one of the things about i said uh, just a moment ago you can't really reason with a devil like this all right jill scott just came out and she has said something about uh speaking out against america all right which i'm i uh i did a uh a quick video on it which i'm gonna bring it out here in a second uh jill scott said something all right and let's see give me a second all 
All right, and it says uh, R&B singer cuts up national anthem live on stage with anti-American lyrics. Blood built this land, but well, she's not lying. All right, and uh, it says the new rendition of the national anthem by Jill Scott sang, "Oh, say can we see by the blood in the streets?" All right, R&B singer and actor Jill Scott blasted America by changing the words of national anthem into claiming it it as an oppressor state during live performance on stage. Jill Scott was performing on the second day of the Ancest Festival on the perceived a systemic, systemic Salakia, all right, racism in America, saying the country is not the land of the free. And she's absolutely right, all right. In essence, a lifestyle magazine that hosts the festival commented, everyone please rise for the national anthem. We will be recognizing from this day forward, Jill Scott, we thank you, all right. All right, family, so check this out. It says, uh, R&B singer trashes national anthem live on stage with anti-American lyrics, Blood Built This Land. Now, see, you got to watch something. These Edomites, these so-called white people, they, they, you can't reason with them, you know. Some of them, they might see, see it for what it is. They know that, you know, what this land has done to, to the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And, they, and you got some that will speak out against it, you know. Like, man, that shit was messed up, you know. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, the majority of them, they, they're they hell-bent on believing this land belongs to them. Uh, they'll tell you things like, if you don't like it, leave, and all this kind of stuff. You got some of our own people that's saying that. They say the same thing. But you know what I'm saying? They don't belong to us. They belong to Esau. You know what I'm saying? They You might as well call them Edomites, all right? And that's Jill Scott, by the way. You know, see, I, I'm, I know music, you know. So they try to act like they don't know who she is. You know, they need to put some respect on our on, on our people, man, <laughs> on our names. Now, whether she be a two-third or not, at least she's in the spirit of speaking out. And maybe she's been hearing the men of the Lord. You never know. People are going to wake up, man, and they're calling out, you know, calling out all this stuff, man. But uh, let's see. Uh, they try to put anti-American on the uh, hashtag because you got to watch end time headlines anyways. This is ran by Christians, okay? But a lot of our people... And it's truth. They commented on here. Uh, I know the real Hebrew Israelite, you know, good brother. You know, I don't know him personally, but, you know, he's a good brother. You know, he's constantly pushing truth and stuff. And he put, uh, and this was a scripture I was thinking about, too. And he said, woe, woe to him that build of a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. All right. And he also said, he said, what lie was told, though? And it wasn't. There was no lie being told on that. All right. And he got 130 likes on that. You know, look, people are on here because they, they, these is uh, people in the truth, man. They know. Let's see. Look, somebody says, so woe to her. No. <laughs> woe, to, woe to the people that came over here and did this. Because, see, our people look at uh, Esau as, 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 that's their God. Esau, eat them. You know, that you can't say nothing wrong about Esau. Nothing. You got people that wake up in this truth and be trying to say that you're always talking about Esau when the scriptures tell you set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. You know, we know that he's at the end. He's he's uh, he'll be ruling in the end times. Why not speak uh, out on this man? You know, the man of sin being revealed and stuff. You know, our people are so blind, so we have to bring it out. But a lot of our people got a soft spot for Esau. And I don't know, maybe they got a, a Edomite wives or. Or some of them, I don't know, uh, Edom, maybe they, they got Edomite mothers or something. I don't know. So they got a soft spot for Esau. I don't know. But, you know, hey, if you wake up to this truth and you understand the fullness of this truth, then you, you're going to hate Esau and you're going to prophesy against him. I'm not saying you disrespect. Like if you got an Edomite mother, you disrespect her. At the end of the day, that's your mother. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as far as this nation, the wicked, you know, you got to speak out against them as a whole, as their nation. You know, that's what we're, uh, it's all about, you know. And you got people on here, man. Uh, look, uh, Azan, he said uh, she was a thousand percent on point. If you have a problem with what she's saying, maybe you should wake up, you know. This brother Ephraimite88, uh, he said Christians are proud of America but forgot what the colonizers did to possess this land, what the very Bible forbids what they did. 
Yeah, he put Habakkuk 2 and 12. He said, woe to him that built up a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. All right, he put Numbers 35 and 33. He said, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Somebody said, it's funny how this page constantly posts how satanic America is, how our government is poisoning our air and food, how our government is burning uh, down farms and derailing trains, how they took God out of school. But soon as a black woman sings about how America is not so great and was built on the blood of slaves, she trashes, uh, she's trashing America. And they put laughing. It's a double standard for me at this point. Uh, just say y'all hate black people laughing my ass off she's right real, real talk hey these people i'm telling you man you cannot reason with them they like i said these edomites they'll expose the government and everything but we can't say nothing about it you know and then they say we're trashing america because deep down they love america and see they try to expose the evil but they want things to go back to the way it was you know and that's the mindset of these people man this pure wickedness Somebody said, we starting to put a face on who's behind this page by the title of this article. Yeah, you, uh, Edomite. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. It's a lot of y'all. I'm just kind of scrolling through. Uh, look, somebody's on there. I guess they exposing who they... Hold on, this girl here, she says, wow, I just went and listened to the whole song and she killed it. Every bit of what she said is uncomfortable truth that sleeping citizens need to wake up and see. We are a nation under the tyranny of a shadow government who has been taxing us and robbing us of our God-given human rights to be free people. Nothing about our nation is truly free in the sense that the public school systems are indoctrination camps. The media and gadgets keep us uh, zombified and distracted. And the food we are fed keeps us sick. Yep, I, I mean, I, wasn't, I ain't even feeling well. You know, like I said, I try my best to eat right. I watch what I eat, but you know, these devils do stuff to everything. Even the bottled water, you try with that. It's just, you know, you're not feeling yourself. But you know, I came out anyways to push this truth, man. Because, you know, this is, you know, we it's got to get out, man. And let's see, keep us sick and unhealthy, not to mention the Federal Reserve should have never happened, right? But you know, hey, these devils, man, the history books are a lie, absolutely. Those with critical thinking who have done their research know all of this. Uh, bearing this in mind, I agree with the point she was making. Yeah. This person here is saying, not sure how she trashed the song when she is making a factual statement. Indian blood and black blood was both shed, but if you're not that ethnic group, you wouldn't feel as com compelled to agree. And then you got this person. See, this is what I was looking for, stuff like this. It says, I'm sick and tired of people trashing the freest country in the world that allows them the freedom to speak. Well, if it's the, the freedom of speak, then how come y'all mad about what she's saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? affords them a lifestyle that many in the world envy and try to come to hey we don't we hey we we don't care nothing about uh the uh benefits of this so-called kingdom because it's really it's all a mirage man you know we're looking for the kingdom you know this place is a mirage and it's going down you know we're like moses we gave we gave all that up to follow yahweh bashim yahweh shah man you know he's a perfect example but look at these people this is their mindset Cause we're not really free, but they think they are. That's why they're gonna go crazy when they when they when they realize they're not and they lose everything and these devils come down with great wrath, they're gonna lose their mind. All right, and it says, uh, hold on. The freedom, hold on, the freedom to speak according to our United States Constitution and afford forge them a lifestyle that many in the world would envy and try to come to. No country is perfect, but these people would rather bite the hand that feeds them. Look at this, figuratively speaking. See the nerve? Tell them to leave America if they are embarrassed of it. America was built on faith and hard-working blue-collar men. Yeah, right. 
Man, it was built on blood. See, that's what I'm telling you. They are delusional. These people are delusional, and you cannot reason with them. This is the mindset of these people, man. That's why you cannot reason with them at all. It don't matter how much truth you bring out. They, these devils, they, they got so much pride, and they don't believe that they believe they're justified about what happened. And a lot of them are ignorant to what happened. And some of them might not know. I don't know. Maybe they wasn't taught that in their history. I know me going to school, they never taught anything about none of that. When we was in the history, we did, they, we had a U.S. history class and all they talked about was all their great generals and stuff and they uh, built them up. They never said too much about the uh, Native Americans, you know, n not too much, uh, you know, but in there, I remember growing up as a kid, they would make movies and they would always portray the Indians as bad, evil, wicked, savages. That's all they did. And this is the wickedness that this man has done and portrayed and always portrayed himself to be the hero, you know. It says, if it wasn't a free country, like she said, she would have been arrested, shot, tried in another country. She has the freedom to sing what she wants. Well, if she does, then how come, you know, uh, devils are, are mad? This Jake right here, he said, how did she trash it by telling the truth? God is not American. Absolutely. He is not American. He is the almighty creator. You know what I'm saying? And he, he has a chosen people, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are his people, you know, and his uh, only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You know, he sprung out of Judah. Now, th those are your so-called Afri uh, African-Americans today, so-called, you know, but they are the tribe of Judah. Yahweh in the Paleo-Hebrew. You know, that's the tribe he springs out of. And those are those people, you know. Somebody look and this is a Mexican. Hey, this is says Mexican polo. All right. This is is a car It says headline should have read singer sings accurate version of of the stat statism uh, Anthem and it said this u.s. Was built with slaves and blood absolutely And there's so much more but I'm not gonna go into all that but look look this one brother look He says she's right and he also brought out Habakkuk 2 and 12 man and uh, this is somebody that uh, no one has heard of her till now. Yeah, all right. Come on now. They just mad. These people, I'm telling you, man, that they don't believe that they could do no wrong. But like I said, you can't reason with these devils. But I just wanted to bring this quick clip out, man. Just showing you, man. This is the mindset of, of these devils. Obadiah 1 and 15. And it says, for the day of the Lord is near upon all heathen. So all you heathen are going to get it. All right. Starting with you. All right. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thou war shall return upon thy own head. And this devil knows this too, man. This is verse 16. And it says, For as ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as thou they had not been. All right? They're going to be brought down, man. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Okay? See, we're going to be uh, the head, and y'all going to be the tail. All right? This is Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. This is northern and southern kingdom, all right? All right? And, and, and the house of uh, Esau for stubble. See, it's, it's really specifying on Esau, all right? For stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not uh, be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. All right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Till the next one, Shalom.